and finally guys this is the moment we have all been waiting for the chicks are here and the experiment the project has started already so i'm going to be showing you guys how to raise them from they hold to maturity everything before you guys and that's beautiful isn't it you know these chicks actually gave me a lot of work last night you know they came late in the night around past 11 or so that was when i was able to meet with the driver and i had to move from that place to my house about 40 minutes or thereabouts and it's a hassle you know even with this insecurity and all that but i just had to do it and sometimes that's the sacrifice you have to pay that's the sacrifice you have to pay to get your cheeks as quickly as possible to that comfort zone that they need because they will never get it in transit they will never get the comfort zone in transit you know even if the vehicle is the special vehicle for moving uh cheeks there, there is a point where the driver will match the brake you know there is a point where it, it moves fast and all that so they are never comfortable while in transit and that's one of the reasons why we lose a couple of chicks when they come to the farm but thankfully uh on arrival there was no dead chick and here i have about another thing i'm yet to even count really i was not able to count last night i just ensured that they are all alive and i placed them but i am expecting a hundred and maybe two broilers and um 10 dual purpose breed the noiler breed and then four turkeys that one i verified the turkeys they are four the noilers uh, i think uh, they should be an extra or two okay an extra i think but i've been able to count nine and then i'll do the counting properly I, I, i'm go, i'm also going to be weighing them very soon so i track their weight from this day one from this day one so there's something i want to show you guys quickly there's something i want to show you because it's morning now and the weather is changing you know in the night it was it was cold but now it's morning the weather is changing i would want to show you something right now um when i came here this morning Okay, yeah, I forgot to say now, this morning we had a dead chick that is not dead on arrival. He died after a couple of hours, died in the night. See them, they are so beautiful, they are so lovely. So, one thing I noticed, this drinker, the water, this is, the, I added um, coconut water to it. So, the drinker was out by the time I came. I guess it was still remaining just a little, and this one was still having water. But right now it's out and it's just about, um, let's say 20, 25 minutes after I had put this fresh water. So what I'm trying to say now is the temperature has risen, where's my phone? The temperature has risen to, from the normal that we had in the night, I checked it. Don't forget, I, I told you about this thermo, I go meter the smartphone that you can monitor from your phone. So the temperature has risen now to 37.6 which is not normal it is not normal so right now i'm going to put out the heat i just wanted to show you guys before i do it so i'm going to put out the heat if you notice a lot of them were drinking water before i came close some of them were even sleeping in the other drinker where there is almost no water so they are trying to get cool they are trying to cool off you can see one spreading the leg there let me try to show you. Yeah, inside on this feeder, you can see one spreading the leg there. You can see at the center now. Yeah, so that's to show that there is heat. The heat is much. So I'm going to put out the heat now. I'm going to stop the gas brooder. Yeah, it's time to put it out. yeah so it's out uh the weather for the day is supposed to carry us it's supposed to carry us and we should be fine we should be fine also i cited i cited a weak cheek this morning which i'm going to pay attention to and probably give it give uh the cheek some um yeah they are all going to be taking antibiotics today <clears throat> but i'm probably going to give that one some um special treatment i'm going to use the syringe to give it to that particular chick so that's one thing i want you to know 
that's where we are. So I'm going to remove this water too. I'm going to remove it now and medicate the water. I'm going to give them antibiotics. I'm going to place them on antibiotics. From this day, I will usually should count this day as the second day of their life since they came on the farm last night. But on the record, this is how I wrote it. Forget about the other things that you are seeing here. That was from our previous video. But this is what I want you to focus on, the mortality record. So they came on the 14th and the mortality for that day was zero. So today I've counted one. If I have any other, I'm going to add it here. And um, we'll have it like that, we'll have it like that. So that's what we have. I just numbered it the one to, tw one to 20. And um, I'm going to add to that as we proceed. But overall, overall the chicks are active. Even after about um, 20 minutes of settling down, I could have about 40% of them eating and drinking. Their crops were not that full, but then they had something in their crop. And even now, if you check, most of them, majority of them now have feed in their crop. Though not full, but then, good amount of it and it's not hard because it's not supposed to be hard when you're talking about crop fuel it's not supposed to be just a hard lump of feed it's supposed to be something a little palpable so you that way you are sure that they also had water that they also had water yes it's really good you can see it. You can see the bulging here yeah so and it has water it has water so that's how to know if they are all active, if they are doing what they are supposed to do, which is eating and drinking water. So you are supposed to sample them around like that. And when, I'm, when I begin to weigh them, I will also see, yeah, I'm not going to be able to weigh all of them, but I will also be able to handle a lot of them. This is a turkey. It's one of the turkeys you can see, bigger in size. I'm going to take their weight very shortly. So this is really impressive. They're all looking good and we should be fine, we should be fine. So as the temperature calms down and the weather brightens up, I expect them to take more feed and water after this rest. So I'm going to change the water very quickly, put the medication, I'm going to be showing you the medication I'll be using. And I think that will be all for this morning. The feed also I'm going to be replacing the feed. You see one of the advantages of this, though they are not yet used to this, and because they came in the night, you know, all that by today, tomorrow, they should accustom themselves to this. The disadvantage, the major disadvantage of this is that they litter it with wood shavings. If you are doing something like this, you want to be careful when placing it back so you don't place it on a cheek. So you, I'm going to be removing the wood shavings and then fill it with uh, fresh feed and that will be all for this morning. So guys, I'm so happy. I'm so happy this is coming alive and I know a lot of you are going to be getting so much benefit from this. Many people want to buy two weeks old chicks, uh, four weeks old chicken just because they can't do this. They can't raise the birds from day old. And this is what I, this is one of the reasons why I decided to show you so that everyone can do it because if you start to buy your birds at four weeks or two weeks, you are losing some of the profit. You are losing some of the profit already. And there's no joy in that. The joy is in this, when you are able to do it from day old to maturity. I also tried to bring in um, the charcoal pot. I'm going to be showing you very soon how to take it out because smoke everywhere. It's not just healthy for the best. Also, it's not healthy for humans because they may not even receive most of the smoke because smoke tends to rise to the um, eye parts of the house. So they may not receive most of it on the floor, but the human, you that you'll be working with them, you are inhaling most of the smoke, which is very detrimental to your health. Yes, you may not see the impact immediately, but then your lungs are complaining, your, your kidney is complaining, your liver is complaining. It's not good, it's not good. So in as much as we are trying to provide a safe environment for the chicks, we're trying to give them comfort, we also should have a taste of that comfort. So it's very important, it's very important. So I'll show you that, um, 
the charcoal pot is the one making that noise outside so i think that's what we have for this morning and um i'm going to be giving you more more uploads more updates more updates so thank you very much yeah if you are yet to subscribe to the channel you can see we started something new and this is going far so you want to join the team you want to join the train while i show you everything that you need to learn